In this lecture, we will study even and odd signals. Suppose x of t is a continuous time signal, then it is said to be even signal if it satisfies the condition that is x of minus t is equal to x of t for all t. For example, assume that this is x of t signal. Let the magnitude of the signal is 1 here and this is the time axis. Here we can observe that the value of signal x of t at t equal to 1 is 0. That is x of 1 is equal to 0. At t equal to 2 that is x of 2 is equal to amplitude that is 1. And the value of x of t at t equal to 3 that is x of 3 is equal to 0. Now similarly. Here we can say at t equal to minus 1, the value of x of minus 1 is equal to 0. At t equal to minus 2, that is x of minus 2 is equal to magnitude is 1. And at t equal to minus 3, that is x of minus 3 is equal to 0. So now here we can observe that x of 1 is equal to x of minus 1, x of 2 is equal to x of minus 2, x of 3 is equal to x of minus 3. Therefore, it satisfies the condition x of t is equal to x of minus t or vice versa. Therefore, we can say that x of t is an even signal. Here we can observe that even signal is symmetric about the vertical axis. symmetric about the vertical axis that is this part is mirror mirror image of this part or this part is mirror image of this part a continuous time signal x of t is said to be odd signal if it satisfies the following condition and the condition is x of minus t minus x of t for all t. This is the condition for the signal to be odd. For example, Here we can say that this signal is an odd signal because here we can observe that x of minus 1 value is 0, x of minus 2 
that is x of minus 2 is equal to minus 1 at t equal to 2 that is x of 2 is equal to plus 1 therefore this satisfies this condition that is x that is this can also be written as minus x of minus t is equal to x of t therefore here we we can observe that x of 2 value is 1 and x of minus 2 is minus 1 that is x of t is equal to minus of x of minus 2 therefore this signal is odd signal this is even signal because it says it satisfies the condition x of minus t is equal to x of t similarly so this is odd signal because it satisfies the condition x of minus t is equal to minus of x of t similarly if x of n is a discrete signal then x of then x of n is said to be even signal if it satisfies the condition that is x of minus n is equal to x of n for all n. For example, Suppose this is x of n signal. So here x of 1 value is say it is 1, it is 2, it is 1 and it is Two. Here we can observe that x of 1 value is 1, x of 2 is 2 and x of 3 is 1 and similarly we have x of minus 1 is, is equal to 1, x of minus 2 is 2 and x of minus 3 is 1. Therefore, this is even signal. The condition for the discrete signal to be odd that is x of n is said to be odd signal if it satisfies the condition that is x of minus n is equal to minus x of n for all n. For example, Suppose this is x of n signal. So this is odd signal. We can observe that even signal is symmetric about y axis whereas odd signal is anti-symmetric about y axis. That is I can say this is symmetric about y axis 
whereas this is anti symmetric about y axis